We're building a wild pool system on the top floor of the house, 24 feet deep in the water. We're doing all kinds of fun things, some waterfalls, wet walls. Catch up on the old stuff, follow the new. We love you guys. Back to work. It's physics, math, and engineering. Machine it, draft it, build it, test it, break it. Every time something new gets built, the entire world advances. Laying in bed at night, it's designing new parts, designing new suspension, designing new wings. All right, Dex, what's the water temperature? 35. 35. We haven't got the heaters going yet, and you can even see ice is forming on the waterfalls. <laughs> Dex, you're insane. It's freezing. Winter cold plunge. <laughs> All right, so we're working late tonight. Chandra's holding the camera. She wanted a heated countertop in the kitchen for baking bread and working with dough. And also, so you can put your arms on it if you're having breakfast and have a warm top. So they make a system like this. Usually they're just little strips just to do kind of one little spot. This one is designed for inside a shower floor. So we're using the specs of the concrete thickness and the thermal transfer rate used for flooring to put it up on top of this so we can have a big enough slab to heat all of it. It's really quite simple. We just use two layers of half inch plywood going across and we staggered the joints so that we wouldn't have mud sneaking through or dripping through the seams. And then we ripped a four inch strip, put it around the top. So this edge is now a full inch and a half thick. And that worked out perfect because the granite we're using is three CM. We're doubling the edges to six CM. So an inch and a half is gonna be great. It's gonna cap this. So now what we need to do is put in a non-shrink grout, float this with concrete. That's what's gonna give the thermal transfer. This is a giant solid slab of granite that's gonna go on here. And I need a good thermal transfer. So I'm gonna set granite without the wood on the bottom to this non-shrink grout base so that we have direct cement base product to cement base product for thermal transfer. So we'll go all the way through the granite. So, should work out really good. We've got a, a temperature probe built into the inside right here. That's gonna make sure it gets up to a temperature and stops. I think we're about ready to pour some thin set, get some concrete in here, not straight grout. You guys know the drill. Let's get back to work. because I didn't realize I was out of the dark. <laughs> so I spread it all the way across just so I could hide it. Uh, it's the exact same product. It's just a different base tone. I have a ton of white left, so we're gonna finish off the rest with white. edges and I'll thicken it up and I cut a piece of aluminum to go all the way across and then I can just scrape the top off get it all the exact thickness I've got temporary braces under the overhang it's only overhanging 12 and 3 quarter inches so it really shouldn't flex much but I want it to cure up exactly perfect and then the granite slab itself is so thick and it's only going to overhang the side with the legs that same 12 and three quarters, and that won't flex at all, but I went ahead and string lined the edge, braced it up so it could all cure in the correct spot before I put the granite on it. All right, gotta mix up some more. Time to work.
about the same size, so I feel really good about it. I'm gonna clean off the wood and let her sit for the night. Time for midnight dinner. We just had Garrett Mitchell, Cletus McFarland channel show up. Hell yeah, brother. You're on the Cletus McFarland YouTube channel. Yep. He wants to be the first guy to dive to the bottom of my 24 foot deep pool. It's 27 on the edge, 24 of water, and the water's 34 degrees. I'm a lot more confident on the drive over, but I just looked at the pool. Not feeling as confident about it. <laughs> I, I, I actually was planning on being the first, but I'm not doing it in 34 degrees. So I'm super excited to let this guy uh, <laughs> be the first guy to drop to the bottom. Attempt. 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 <laughs> and recover one of the contractor's coats or coveralls or something. It looks like there's a dead body in the bottom of my what pool. What if I just go into shock when I touch the water? <laughs> <laughs> then we're going to have it all on tape. <laughs> Video. Let's go. <laughs> Oh, he's just going. Gone. Look at that. That was like easy. He made it look easy. <laughs> You're insane. Oh my God. Yeah. You're nuts. <laughs> Is it cold? <laughs> Two minutes, dude. It's really cold. You got it. Oh, the, dead, ah! <laughs> the dead body is officially off the bottom of the pool after months. <laughs> there you go. Way to go, buddy. You did that so fast. I wasn't going to waste a second. <laughs> You're like, I'm going. I'm clearing my ears. Three, two, one, down. Oh, I was just clearing and The rolling. whole way. Clearing and kicking. Yeah. Woo! Wow, way to go. Thanks. That must be from all the lobster Honor diving. Let me give it a shot. <laughs> <sighs> That's I'm awesome. I'm telling you, when I opened my eyes, the, the shock on my whole body was so great. But when I opened my eyes, it was like, shing! <laughs> <laughs> I love that's it. Deep, dude. That's a deep pool. I'm swimming, swimming, swimming. I was like, holy crap. This is so deep. That's awesome. Way to go. Good job. Whoa. All right, guys, we are almost done. 
with the tile on this deck, there's 3,000 square feet of quartzite stone on the outside of my house. We decided to lay it ourselves. The best bid I got was $230,000 in labor only from the guys that I felt confident could do a nice job setting it. But uh, we decided to just do it ourselves. The price was too high. I decided it was something we were gonna do with just myself and a couple guys that had never laid tile before. Show them how to do it. We hand floated every one of these in liquid rubber. The reason why, I've never seen stone hold up in our winter climates ever over long periods of time. I've tried a few different things, but if ever water sneaks under that stone and you had big trowel marks in it, and then it froze, mother nature wins every time. And if there was enough joint for that water to get in, it would pop the tile. And then you'd, you'd have a lot of tile stuck and then some floating. So we bed every single one of these in a liquid rubber. And the bad thing is, if you screw up, I'm gonna show you what it looks like. We had a tile I didn't like. So the good news is we're about done. We got a tile I didn't like, I had to pull it out. Let me show you how hard it was to get out. This is what's left of that stone. This is quartzite. It literally had to come out with a drill, a chisel, and little pieces. Before I even did this, I tried a couple test pieces out here, put water on it, submerged it, let it freeze. I couldn't get this tile to pop, so hopefully this concept of mine holds up over the long haul, but the idea is simply this. The stone can move a little bit. The rubber will never set up completely. It was a two-part AB. Every time the tile wants to expand and contract with the summer heat of 110 degrees we can get here, 10 below zero we can also get here, buried in water and ice. I didn't want it to be able to expand and contract and break the grout joints or get water underneath it. So if you look right here, even my joints, that's not grout. That's liquid rubber. I'm gonna take a router and take out that liquid rubber. Just go down about a quarter inch of the one inch thick stone I have on here. And then I'll grout it in because this liquid rubber just doesn't quite have the look of a nice clean exterior two part epoxy base grout. So if you have a tile you don't like, it sure sucks to get it off, but it definitely sticks. So. I don't know, that's a lot of talking. This was a lot of work, I'm excited, we're about done. I have about two or three tile I just don't like the look of. I'm gonna rip them out, redo them. You guys know the drill, back to work. Getting all the grout in, a little closer. Tracks going in, drains. Still need grout here. Should come on over here. I couldn't be happier. Really turning out awesome. Back to work.